this is Anson Garcia again with Verizon and today we're going to be taking a look at Cisco Spark notifications. So Cisco Spark notifications come in two flavors and if you have a smartphone you're already familiar with how this works. We get visual notifications and audible notifications. The visual notifications come up as what we call toasts. I don't know if you guys remember that but um, a long time ago, things used to pop out of our, in Windows anyway, pop out of the lower right-hand corner of our taskbar. And that was looked like a toast coming up. So that kind of that name stuck. And so toasts are now referred to these things that pop up anywhere. They could come up from the lower right-hand corner, you know, upper right-hand corner. It doesn't matter, but they're called toasts. So you get this toast notification that comes up in the foreground, right? It gives you a visual notification no matter what you're working in. You could be working in Word or PowerPoint or whatever. Um, you could be browsing the web. And this, and this toast notification is going to come up in the foreground give you a visual indicator so I'm not talking about one two three messages like you see on Jabber or other uh, or, or like an email or something like that this is a visual thing that comes up to the foreground and lets you know no matter what you're working in that there's something that's happening in Cisco Spark and then this is available in our client obviously and it's also available in the browser all right so you get the same kind of experience in the browser all right, and then we have audio uh, or audible notifications like the ding. You know, we all know what that is. Okay, so all the manufacturers, I've kind of done some uh, studying in all the manufacturers. I say all, HipChat, River, Teams, and Slack, and of course Cisco Spark. And they're all kind of taking the same approach. And the approach is that their settings... There's kind of a global setting, so we'll call it G for global. And then inside spaces, channels, whatever you want to call them. Remember, in our case, we have teams, right? And then under teams, we have spaces, right? Space one, space two, space three. And then what we can do are global settings for our notifications. We can set to, uh, let's see, all. Okay, and in fact, by default, that's what it's set to. It's set all. In other words, give me all notifications. It, no matter if, if someone's, and I'm a, let's pick my red pen. Now, red is going to signify a message. So if someone types a message in, inside this space, I will get a visual notification, toast, and I will get a audible notification, ding. Okay, same goes for this one. Another notification, another notification. So maybe let's say, Remember, we set, we're set to all here in our global notifications. And maybe let's say, uh, I don't know, a lot of chatty cats over here in, in this space number three here. And goodness gracious, I'm just getting, you know, bombarded with dings and visual notifications. And I really want to stamp that out, mitigate that, squelch that a little bit. So I can go into this particular space and then more have more granular control and then maybe this space I'd say you know what I'm just going to set things off completely I'm not really tuned in with what's going on there that it's a, it's another sub project and and I'm really more interested in these two projects right here I need to stay tuned in there I want to you know get my visual notifications and and want to go check those right away but but this one I'm just going to set to off okay so I can do that also I can set like you know maybe at mention. So if anybody mentions me in that particular space, then I want the audio uh, or audible and visual indication so I can go check that space to see if somebody's asking me a question or something like that. Okay, so that's how that works. Now, we can turn this completely around. All right. In fact, I've, it, for me, it was, it was actually better. Let's do this. Let's get rid of that and what I did and what you'll find yourself doing also if you start getting lots of spaces lots of uh, lots of group chats and things like that you'll probably want to flip this over and what I mean by that is I set my global notification I set that to off so I wanted that completely off okay and then I can get more granular I can go to each space and each space I really want to keep an eye on and keep an ear on and want to make sure that I respond or look at what people are saying in there then I can go turn them on so maybe 
maybe we're on space number three again and that's the important one I really wanna on this particular team I wanna keep an eye on that I can go turn that one on okay and maybe you know maybe space one and two I can go in there and just say you know I, I need to keep tuned in and some I'm kind of a subject matter expert in in that particular uh, team space and if someone asks me a question I want to be tuned in so if they do in the app mention my name you know I want to go ahead and be able to respond I think you get the picture here so let's kind of let me see one more thing I want to say on here and that is your browser settings there's kind of two pieces to that we'll take a look at that but just in a nutshell there's your web app itself and then there's some browser settings so if you guys are familiar with uh, maybe Facebook or YouTube or something like that when you when you subscribe to things or when you're following somebody if you use the web app I don't know if you've noticed but it'll ask you the first time you log in or something on a particular browser it'll ask you hey do you want me to send you you know this this application would like to send you notifications and what's happening is the app itself so the web app itself is kind of gluing itself to the web browser and there's some knobs and, and levers inside the web browser that, that can turn on and, and allow that that little toast pop up and allow little dings you know audible and notifications and things like that so there's kind of two pieces of that um, because you can possibly if you're in in an environment in an enterprise environment and they don't let you mess with any settings in your browser you could not get this someone changes some settings or you go to another browser or something like that and you say hey I'm not getting my I'm not getting my notifications anymore it could be some settings in in, in the browser and I'll we'll take a look at that here um, in, a, in a minute so I think that's all I wanted to say about that let's go ahead and take a look at some demos here let's put that away we're gonna be with Jack and Liz again okay and the first thing I want to show you is the global settings so let's take a look at the global settings we click on our avatar here we go to settings and then right here this global settings and I want you to see that I have these two users set up differently so Jack has kind of the default mode all messages okay so all messages are going to be coming in with that visual and audible notification okay let's take a look at Liz how she set up she's changed her settings and she basically says I want everything off and I'll choose a, a more granular approach I'll go to each space and I'm gonna choose if I want to hear everything in that particular space or at mentions only okay so let's see how that works we see how both of them are we're gonna go to this particular team and we're gonna go to ship propeller we were messing with that one last time so we'll go ahead and do that and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Liz and just say or excuse me I'm going in this space I'm not talking to Liz primarily right there's a few people in this space right there as you can see um, and I'm just gonna you know put hello in there okay I did not hear a ding let's go to Liz we didn't get a toast at all I got a visual indicator down here but I could have very well had that down let's do that one more time we'll do that again and go immediately over to her PC she gets nothing on her screen you know so if something was up uh, maybe she was an email or something like that she really wouldn't know you know anything was going on other than if she was looking down here she'd get that little two so there is some type of visual indicator still that you cannot turn off at all you can't turn that one off um, that's just inherent in the product in the client itself okay so we know Jack is set up the other way okay he's everything's everything's good bring everything to him so let's just go in here and let's go let's follow where we have this visual indicator and there's some messages in there and I'm gonna chime in on this uh, space as well now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit enter here we're gonna go immediately back to Jack's in fact let's go over to Jack's PC real quick and let's just put the spark client away how's that in fact we'll do something better let's go way over here you know we're not even in the in the space anymore okay and we'll put it away so Liz is gonna hit enter there 
I hear the ding. I hope you heard that too. And there we go. There's our toast up there. Now I can close that toast or I can click on that toast and that's going to take me right into the team and space that um, had that uh, particular message. So that's good. Of course, if you have, if Jack only had a few spaces and there wasn't much activity, obviously, as you get more spaces and things like that, you're going to take kind of the more the Liz approach um, here. But let's do something more. So we know Liz doesn't get any indication, audible or visual, as far as the toast is concerned. Let's do something. Let's get more granular with her. Maybe she wants to keep an eye on the ship propeller space because she's part of that project. She's going to go to notifications, and then she can say, you know what? And you see how this is different. I didn't go over here and settings. That's my global settings. I'm in the space itself. I push my information icon here, and I go to notifications. Now from here, I have a more granular approach. So it says, hey, do you want to take the global settings they're off by the way it says right there or do you want to customize the settings in this particular space and you know what maybe i do want to customize maybe i want at least the at mentions okay so let's do that again we're going to put that away we'll go to jack and we'll just type in some things there we'll go to liz i did not hear a ding and nor did i get a toast okay we see that now let's do one more thing and let's say hello need you and then we'll do it at mention we're going to do elizabeth right we'll just go and click that and then we'll hit enter and i'm immediately going to go over to liz we'll see that we get the visual toast there and then we can click on that right away to go right to that uh, particular space okay hopefully that that makes a little uh, sense to you I'll let you look at that one more time. Notifications, we have at mentions only. And of course, I could have also turned them off. So we could go the other way around. Let's say Jack wants, he's got everything on, but this particular space is just really chatty and it's driving him batty. So he, he can um, uh, go to this particular space, information button there, notifications, and he can turn everything off for this particular space. Now, let's put that away. We'll go to Liz. We'll put something in that space. We'll immediately go back to Jack and we see he gets nothing now. Okay? And then we'll set him back to default. We'll set it back to global. Okay, that's it. That's how notifications work. Let me show you one more thing. Okay, let's pick on Anson over here. Anson has a web client that we're using Firefox for this okay and here's Spark and I wanted to show you what I did here is I I went to my settings cog right here so it's a little bit different remember we took to took a look at this and and there's a little bit difference in the web interface here uh, than the client we have this all we have this filter here but we don't have the you know people in space separation remember that remember we have over here in the client it's a little bit different where I have, you know, people on top and then space spaces over here. And the recent activity is going to be towards the top on both. But let's go over to Anson. C click the cog there. And then over here we have notifications. And you can see very similar. And we have the same approach here. As far as we can go into a team, we can go to a particular team. And then we can uh, take a look at this team in the uh, team settings. And we can go to the information icon here, and then we can go to notifications, and we have that same kind of approach over here in the web browser as well. So the only thing different here is when you first you know, open up this application, when you go to CiscoSpark.com and log in and bring up this application, it will ask you, hey, can I send you notifications? And what it's doing in the background, and I already have my options, this is basically... You know, I went to my, my options here in my Firefox. And then under options, there's notifications here. And under notification settings in Firefox, I have some applications that I've already asked to do something with my browser. And it's basically the toast and the audible ding is, uh, is and it's allowed. Okay, so I obviously it came and asked me and I said, go ahead and allow it. 
All right, and then the only other one I'll show you here is inside Chrome. It's a little bit different. You go to Advanced, and there's a Content Settings. And I did the same thing. You know, you go to Options over here, and you go to Content Settings. So it's kind of buried a little bit more here. And then there's notifications here, so it's a couple of layers deep. And then you finally get to there's Cisco Spark right there. And then I have some settings there. I can edit, remove you know whatever so that's how if you're not getting your notifications in in and you're using a browse wrap that's where to look to make sure everything's uh, working right okay the last thing I'm gonna review with you is the one-to-one -one chats or the people space okay if you look at the top of this uh, particular presentation here there's a reason I called it team spaces and spaces or group chats Okay, the next slide that we'll go to is notifications in people spaces. Okay, so this is different. The difference is that there is, this is not controlled by the global settings. There's only one thing in there, and that's mute. So a one-to-one -one chat is different and the only thing you can do to it is to mute it and I guess it stands to reason you know a one-to-one -one chat you're not gonna have a bunch of stuff and you're usually gonna be chatting with somebody real time and you can always leave that you know that people space when you're not chatting with them and you can, when you come back to it all your persistent chat stuff is still there in that uh, people space so let's take a look at that real quick and and then we'll wrap it up. So let's go back to Jack and Liz. And I do have a Jack and Liz. And we're both at the same spot there. I do have this people. Remember that people space? It's one to one. You know, so there's there's only one person in here. It's it's uh, anything under people is going to be a one to one chat space. So what do we have under our information tab here? The only thing we don't have that notifications all we had is mute so all I can do is mute this okay so that's it so that's the difference and with that we're done I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching